Oh, hello. Nice of you to join us again. This is the Guardian Talking Points German Football Edition, and we have three fantastic reviews from the last weekend, as well as a big feature on Kevin De Bruyne, who's doing really well for Wolfsburg. Remember to subscribe, and you can also skip ahead if you're that way inclined. Well, I'm a man who likes to look at the bottom first, so let's start with Borussia Dortmund. They were 18th before the game against Borussia Mönchengladbach, a real must-win game for Jurgen Klopp ahead of the international break. The black and yellows played really well, creating chance after chance, but missing all of them. Mark Royce hitting the post, Mkhitaryan doing his usual Mkhitaryan thing, playing really well, but then uh, forgetting to shoot properly. And they needed a Christoph Kramer on goal, the own goal of own goal, certainly this season to break the deadlock. The Gladbach midfielder, as you recall, suffered concussion in the final against Argentina and went to the referee asking him, is this really the final ref? I need to know, is this the final? This was a headache of a very different kind. 40 meters ahead of his own goal, tried the back pass, but only succeeded in lobbing Jan Sommer for what is going to be a goal that will be remembered for a very, very long time. Despite the fortunate nature of the goal, it was a very well-deserved Dortmund win and they can breathe a lot easier now going into a two weeks break off the table and only nine points adrift from a Champions League spot. At the final whistle, Jurgen Klopp celebrated as if he had just won the biggest game of his career and maybe in a sense it was. Dortmund now with a real momentum, maybe the start of a comeback and this should help persuade the mind of Marco Reus who reportedly has been offered 9 million euros in wages and the same amount to get rid of his release clause in his contract. The midfielder has so far refused to sign a new deal however but maybe he'll see things differently after what was a much needed win. Bayern defender Jerome Boateng set a new Bundesliga record going 50 games unbeaten after Bayern's 4-0 win at Eintracht Frankfurt. The way things are going, they might well go another 50 games unbeaten because Bayern look untouchable, imperious and score goals for fun. In Frankfurt, the irrepressible Thomas Müller was once again the hero, scoring a hat-trick before Jadon Shakiri added a fourth for the visitors. Manuel Neuer, who's only conceded three goals this season, got so bored that he entertained the crowd with a lovely flick with the outside of his boot, and for Thomas Schaaf it was the third defeat in a row. Pep Guardiola cast his vote in a non-binding independence election for Catalonia, but as far as the Bundesliga is concerned, there's no need to go to the polls. It's a question of when, not how, for the champions elect. A 2-0 win for Werder Bremen over VfB Stuttgart made it 2 out of 2 for Viktor Skripnik, or Victory Skripnik as the Ukrainian coach is beginning to be called at the Weser. Goals from Sebastian Pyridl and Finn Bartels put pay to the Swabians, who are now bottom of the table and the latest big name to be in serious trouble. Stuttgart have now conceded 9 goals from dead ball situations in 11 games this season. A stat that drove Armin Fee, the coach, crazy in his own words. It's almost as if there's no proper coaching. At £18 million, Kevin De Bruyne wasn't the cheapest of buys for Farfield Wolfsburg, but the Belgian has been absolutely sensational this season. Two assists and a 2-0 win over Hamburg took his total tally to 9 in the Bundesliga and 13 overall in all competition. No one's anywhere near as far as assisting in goals is concerned this season. The 23-year-old has only scored one goal this season, but thanks to his unselfish and altogether excellent performances, Wolfsburg have now won 8 games in a row. Chelsea coach Jose Mourinho hinted at an attitude problem, but Kevin De Bruyne so far has played with real energy, commitment, and his manager Dieter Hacking has said that De Bruyne isn't exactly a world champion when it comes to training sessions, but who cares? As long as you play this well and keep Wolfsburg in contention, there are only four points adrift of Bayern, nobody will complain. That's it for today, but don't subscribe to our channel, and also you can check out our good colleagues James Horncastle, Julian Laurence and Andy Brussels on their respective leagues. We'll see you after the international break. Until then, goodbye.